This week on The Hotel Inspector, everything is far from rosy in the Garden of England. What you have is a whole collection of dust collectors. And there's a battle of wills brewing. There's so much shit everywhere. I'm not getting rid of any of my limited editions, no. But will Alex be able to convince the owners that it's out with the old and in with the new? Well, Alex might have some cheap crap at her hotel she'd like to put in here. I suggest you go down to Devon, actually. <laughs> Garden Lodge in Folkestone is a five-bedroom guest house, a stone's throw away from the Channel Tunnel and the continental ferry ports of the Kent coast. The guest house has acted as a home and a source of income for the Cooper family for 23 years. And Mum Sue leaves little doubt as to who's in charge. I think you could honestly say I'm the boss. We moved in here and it was the ideal opportunity to start our own business so I could be at home all the time with the children. But after running a guest house for two decades, the line between personal and professional has become blurred. Primarily, Garden Lodge is our home, but at the end of the day, you haven't got a home without a business and you haven't got the business without the home. While Sue can't separate the two, husband Ron goes one step further. First and foremost, it is a family home, and secondly, it is coming up to be a world-renowned bed and breakfast. But dwindling customer numbers tell a very different story. The occupancy rate dipped as low as 5% in January. And with new budget competitions springing up all over the neighborhood, Garden Lodge is struggling to compete. As time's gone on, people come to a bed and breakfast and they expect you to be like a first-class hotel. They don't respect anything in our homes. They've been nasty to my dogs. We're not a hotel and it's about time people learnt the difference. Sue is losing the battle, with biting customer reviews on TripAdvisor claiming only stay here if you really have no other choice. Garden Lodge has definitely lost its bloom. Enter award-winning international hotelier Alex Polizzi. Can the hotel inspector nip Garden Lodge's decline in the bud? Overall first impressions really aren't bad, so I'm wondering, can there be something on the inside that's putting guests off? Hello, I'm Alex Polizzi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Just come in. Thank you very much. Wow, you collect fairies by any chance? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to register. Pleasure. Right. Um, Barely over the threshold, and it's obvious to Alex that the guest house has a truly one of a kind decor. Where would you like to start? Uh, up over to you, tell me. Right. Dining room? Yes. All right, great. Go Crammed to the rafters with family photos, dolls, paintings, ornaments, and souvenirs from Bali. The dining room is an Aladdin's cave of curios. Don't know where to look first, do you? Uh, no, I don't. You have collections of virtually everything. Everything. I'm a hoarder. You're a hoarder. <laughs> All the dolls. Yes, I collected those from when I was very small. If Alex thought the dining room fairies were fanciful, just wait till she sees the lounge. This is the lounge. My goodness. We actually share it with our guests. We like, we like to talk to our guests, so they sit with us. My goodness gracious me. I don't know quite what to say. It's overwhelming. Lovely. With no separate sitting room for guests, visitors to Garden Lodge share Sue's lounge with her and her collections. So you wouldn't have room to put one more thing anywhere here, would you? Yes, I'd soon find room. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. OK. Let's go and talk, shall we? OK, on. good idea. Sue, tell me, how has your business changed over the last three years? Where business wasn't so seasonal before, it's getting seasonal now. 
and the winters are getting very quiet. Why do you think that is? There's a big impact on smaller places like us of the new budget hotels that are opening and so they expect hotel facilities at bed and breakfast prices. To make this more of a success, what are you prepared to do? I had sort of had a whisper that you would declutter me and that is the thing that frightens me. The, the, um... Darling, I need a skip and a removal truck. <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't think this is a moment for cardboard boxes, do you? I mean, goodness gracious. It's all valuable stuff. You couldn't have a skip. With the battle lines drawn, Sue checks the hotel inspector into the four-poster bedroom, Garden Lodge's finest, at £85 a night. Right, this is your room, and I'd just like to tell you there's um, no ornaments. I can see you've still managed to sneak in a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, when they're playing walls, it is nice to have something. And trust. plates. Yes. But no ornaments. Thank you very much indeed. It's just completely overwhelming, isn't it, the amount of stuff. Stuff, stuff everywhere. <sighs> and Ron does the maintenance. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to have to talk to him about this. I wouldn't want to be too energetic in here. And with, of course, the essential flower fairies, and it all becomes a horrible nightmare mix. But for Sue, having the hotel inspector assess her home and business is proving to be difficult from the start. When somebody comes and criticises your own home and everything, it really makes you feel pig sick. But I do believe in calling a spade a spade, and if she told me something I didn't like, I'm likely to tell her to piss off. So will Alex be able to persuade Sue that she's away with the fairies? This house has so much personality that it bloody suffocates you. Or will trying to clear the clutter tip Sue over the edge? You think you've got problems? Just swap places. <laughs> For over two decades, Sue Cooper and her family have owned Garden Lodge, a five-bedroom guest house in Folkestone. But after 20 years of combining home and business, the guest house has become dated. Sue wants to improve Garden Lodge, but doesn't take any notice of complaints about her and her business on websites like TripAdvisor. I don't think it's us. I think some people... It's just their nature. Wherever they stay, they wouldn't be happy. Alex Polizzi is being called in to troubleshoot the problems at Garden Lodge. After seeing how cluttered the public rooms are, she heads off to find out if the rest of the guest house is just as crammed with collections. <laughs> you can already tell what I'm looking at, which is more flower fairies. First of all, it's a relief that everything's kind of red after my pink room. This looks slightly odd. Looks like it should be over the chest of drawers. And, of course, we have some more plates and a picture. <sighs> stuff, stuff everywhere. Next door is the family room, which is the guest house's biggest earner. This room regularly rents for £125 per night. What can I say about this room, apart from the fact it's clearly very purple? Once again, we have purple followed by purple with pink purple, and in case we'd missed the theme, purple lampshade. And even the bathroom hasn't escaped Sue's signature style. <sighs> ah! Plates again, but this time plates with fish with seahorses and dolphins. Alex has found all five ensuite bedrooms suffering from the same dated decor. It's been an interesting first day and I'm pretty sure that Sue and I have some interesting discussions ahead. The thing is that I'm starting to suspect that it's Sue as much as her guest house that needs some rejuvenating. But it is only day one and I'm going to reserve judgment until tomorrow. Yesterday, the hotel inspector came face to face with Garden Lodge's tired interiors.
But as a night spent in the four-poster room left Alex fresh as a daisy. Well, I felt like I was sleeping in a very well-upholstered chocolate box, which I'm sure some people would like, but isn't for me. The bed was comfortable, however. I think the worst thing about this room, and by association the entire house, is that there's so much shit everywhere. Where on earth would you put anything? Anything at all? Every surface is covered with her stuff. And everything, therefore, is slightly dirty, slightly grimy and incredibly cobwebbed. Sue's elaborate interiors seem to be affecting the hotel inspector. It's a bit much, first thing in the morning, this assault on the senses. I keep trying to think which is my favourite piece, but, you know, it's very hard to pick. With every surface buried beneath 20 years of bric-a-brac, Alex will have a battle on her hands as she's to persuade Sue to clear out her precious collectibles. Keen to start the ball rolling, Alex heads off to the kitchen to meet Sue's right-hand man, husband Ron. Bonjour, mon chef. And from How me, good morning, Alex. How Did are you? Did you sleep well? Uh, not bad. The bed was comfortable. It was. Okay. Yes. And are you surprised? You relaxed? No, of course not. All our beds are comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to ask you about some of the rooms. To me, they seem like certainly some of the fixtures and fittings are slightly dated. We try to certainly keep the rooms up to date. We don't want them looking outdated. Yeah. People now travel with so much more stuff than they ever used to. And one thing I have noticed in the rooms is that the plethora of stuff that Sue has in herself means that there's not much room to put anything of your own. Anyway, I'm just bringing it up, oh, just so bringing it up to start, to start putting the cat among the pigeons. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex has indicated the problems with the outdated rooms. And although breakfast goes off without a hitch, she's desperate to escape the stifling dining room interior and joins Sue for a breath of fresh air and a stroll around the guesthouse's al fresco attractions. So, Garden Lodge, this is called. Let's look at the garden. Right, well, we've got the pool. Yep. Um, in here, we've got a, an electric shower, vanity unit and toilet, which they can use when they're in the pool. Lovely. This is our barbecue. Um, Ron and my dad built this. That's one of the dog's toys. Um, Ron and my dad built this, so it looked like a wishing well. And this is our bottom lawn. And what about this caravan? That is something, if my kids have friends stay, they usually put them in the caravan. Oh, really? Garden Lodge is worlds apart from the big budget competition. But Sue is still convinced that she is offering something better. In your view, why do you think people come to you rather than go to budget hotel? They still like the personal service. They. They want something that's more friendly, where they feel secure. They've got the garden. It's, it's more homely. With Alex's first visit coming to an end, it's obvious to her that both the property and Sue's attitude need to be brought up to date. First, she tackles the sensitive topic of Sue's collections and the clutter they create. Sue, Ron, I am here to try and get your business back on track. And I can't do that without telling you some painful truths. And I'm going to start with the amount of crap that you have managed to fill this house up with. Well, I can't completely agree when you say that we shouldn't have all these personal things because people come in and nobody has actually said to me, the place is full of clutter, we find it overwhelming or anything else. If you really want to put up a decent fight for the budget hotels, you offer something that is as good as them. A budget hotel is decorated in all those neutral, plain colours that you loathe. But what they allow you to do is breathe and impose your personality on the place where you're staying. Whereas this house has so much personality that it bloody suffocates you. I think that it's fine in your part of the house, but I think it's overflown far too much, and I think you have to have a clear-out. If you're coming into a family home, 
they're unique and we put our own mark on the place because it is our home, isn't it? But there's not one surface that doesn't have a, a lace thing or a tray or a tea tray or, you know, there's nowhere to put out anything of one's own. Well, you've got wardrobes, you've got drawers. Next is standards of cleanliness, which is a struggle with every inch of Garden Lodge covered in precious items. This room, for me, is completely overwhelming. Now, I wouldn't mind these, but these, on top of this, on top of the green, it's layer upon layer upon layer of decoration. And, Sue, I'm sorry, but I'm sitting here and I can see that it's not immaculately clean either. There's so much here. How on earth can you keep it clean? It is clean. I do spend a lot of time dusting all these different bits and pieces. But what you have is a whole collection of dust collectors. Well, I don't agree with that. Well, I, I haven't don't made agree. it They're up. Grimy. I just think that people's expectations have moved on mm -hmm. and you are never going to be able to compete unless you move slightly with the time suit. Mm -hmm. So, for the bedrooms, I think we need to kind of clear some surfaces straight away and I think you need to kind of simplify absolutely obviously I can see what you're saying um, and if it helps in bringing in more people then it's something that we must look at obviously seriously Sue seems unwilling to shift her position or her collections but Alex won't give up without a fight in order to move forwards she suggests a compromise I mean, what I would love you to think about, I mean, if we could make this a kind of sitting dining room for guests, it would be one room where they could come and you could still have your family life in your sitting room. And maybe this is one room that we could slightly <clears throat> minimise. Well, if we could change this then, look at your ideas and change this into a lounge diner, you know what's coming next. Does that mean that um, you don't get a skip in to take everything out of the lounge, which would be then our private lounge? Basically, your lounge is your business then, because it's your room, it's your family room, OK? That is my only brief, Sue. So I'm not trying, you know, I could never change to turn this house into something that it isn't, but I can make sure that it functions better. OK? Right. If it was up to me, I'd like to get rid of everything in there. But I've got to try and respect Sue's individuality. One thing I am sure of is that there's plenty of battles ahead. So Alex leaves with a clear idea of what's keeping guests from Garden Lodge. But can Sue handle Alex's home truths? Well, I found it really offensive when she called all of our really beautiful limited edition stuff clutter. You know, it's stuff that means a lot to us, and it's what we find pleasure in. I hope at the end of the day she really appreciates that just what a family-run guest house is. We're not a big hotel. Alex agreed a clutter compromise with Sue. If the Coopers create a seating area for guests in the dining room, then they can leave the family lounge as is. But after some time to reflect, Sue has come up with her own plan. She gave us that advice to separate the guests and the family, which is something we've always thought about doing, but, you know, I suppose we needed the final shove to make us go, and the day after she left, we went and ordered a conservatory. I think Alex will think it's a good idea. Whether it was something she had in mind herself, I don't know. Costing more than £10,000, the conservatory will be built by Ron and Sue's 85-year-old father, Joe. It looks neater with those bricks along Yeah, it the does. Finish it well. With Ron and Joe busy outside, Sue's decluttering of the inside is yet to get off the ground. Alex gave me lots of advice. Well, she thought it was good advice, obviously, but I didn't think much of most of it. There are other ways of increasing business that isn't making me remove all my valued possessions. I'm not getting rid of any of my limited editions, no. It's been three weeks since Alex first arrived at the guest house, and she's back 
to find out if Sue has put a dent in the decluttering. Well, I can see one thing that you've changed at least. No tablecloth. I, I approve. Oh, that's good. Do you like this without the tablecloths? Yes, I do, actually. <laughs> and it's less work. It looks really clean and it somehow emphasises the garden, the green yeah. of the garden, which I think is lovely. What else has changed since I was last here? Well, we've um, started to build a conservatory to use for a guest lounge. So you agree with the principle? You think that it's a nice idea to have a bit more of a separation? Yeah, I do. Plus, having a conservatory, they're sat in our garden, which is nice. And um, when I do functions in here, I can open up the doors and it gives me more function space. Fantastic. Well. Tick, tick. So Alex approves of the extension, but if Garden Lodge is to compete with local rivals, it needs rooms that are simple and functional. So, Sue, last yeah. time I was here, I had a few comments about the room. Just a few. A <laughs> You'd managed to sneak in a lot of plates and decoration and that I thought the surfaces needed to be cleared. Obviously, I knew that you were going to comment about the plates because you've commented about the plates in every other room, so why should this room escape? I've always been a hoarder and even my friends told me I'm a hoarder and I should get rid of stuff, but um, I just tell them to shut up because it's my house. OK, well... I would like to bring in some locals who we've asked to act as our focus group. These are people who may be representative of, of guests who you might have. What I'm trying to do is show you that there is a body of opinion that may think that I have some justice on my side. That's the plan. Right. Determined to prove her point once and for all, Alex mounts an attack on Garden Lodge's guest rooms. Thank you so much for coming this afternoon to Garden Lodge. I've invited you here because I would like you to look at the rooms and to give me your opinions about what you like and what you don't like. So for the purposes of this visit, we have a couple, we have a family group and a single businessman. Do try and be as specific as possible. I want you to comment on everything from colours to decor to cleanliness. So what will the assembled troops make of the guest house's best room? You wouldn't get a man come stay here. I wouldn't want to um, be a woman, to be honest. And does Alex finally convince Sue that less is more? Alex has still got to prove to me that this is actually going to make my business busier. <laughs> Garden Lodge in Folkestone is home and business to Sue Cooper and her family, but it's in trouble. With 3,000 bed spaces in town and big chain budget hotels springing up all around the area, the guest house is looking outdated. Well, I felt like I was sleeping in a very well upholstered chocolate box. It's covered from floor to ceiling in clutter. Darling, I need a skip and a removal truck. <laughs> and its owners think they know best. I want things done my way most of the time, unless somebody can prove to me that they can do it better. The hotel inspector needs to convince Sue that culling her collections and making the rooms more inviting will improve her business. To reveal what customers really think of the eclectic interiors, Alex has invited some potential guests to inspect the four-poster bedroom. OK, as a first reaction as a businessman, nowhere to sit to actually uh, do any work tonight, so I was hoping for a bit of a desk and a table. Well, that would be useful to have somewhere to put my laptop on that, so I could use that if I wanted to work at night. I'd have to work on my laptop, wouldn't I? I think it's really obviously designed by a woman, yeah. that you wouldn't get a man come and stay here. If I was a man, I could not stay in this room. No, I, I wouldn't want to be a woman, to be honest. Yeah, it's... It's different. <laughs> The damning reviews come as no surprise to Alex, and she quickly gives the room a spring clean to clear some of the clutter. What I'm trying to show is that, actually, you can leave a few things. It's just choosing what you leave and what you take away. So Alex may be dicing with death by removing Sue's personal touches. But by swapping soft furnishings, grouping selected pictures and clearing surface areas, Alex knows the room will be more appealing to guests. 
I think that looks so much better. It's taken me half an hour and all I've done really is rearrange the room a little bit. It's now time for the potential guests to see the revamped room. Oh wow, that's, uh, that's better. It looks lovely and the bedspread's gone. It looks amazing. I, I honestly can't believe that was done in 30 minutes. I can see some of the wallpaper and it's just plain simple. That's fine. I, I didn't know there was any before, but uh, yeah. If I was here as a businessman, I'd have somewhere to actually put my laptop and work. And it's not like going into her home anymore. No, I just like getting rid of the curtains. I felt, I felt that was a bit claustrophobic earlier. But will Alex's handiwork land her in deep trouble with her biggest critic? For a start, for my four stars, I'm not allowed to only have one bedside light. It's got to have two bedside, not over there, because I've got to be able to reach it from the bed. And I hate it without these drapes. These drapes it is, is part of the thing. It should have four drapes. Yeah, and they've been taken the off, and that is not right. Me. Sue clearly doesn't approve of Alex's attempt to depersonalise one of Garden Lodge's bedrooms. However, one person has seen it as a change for the better. I think it's opened the room up from what she's done. I would say more than 90% of the people that come here appreciate the stuff that we've got round. Well, you know, I don't really think um, my opinion is going to count <laughs> for a lot. <lie. laughs> he knows his place. <laughs> With Sue struggling to believe that her bric-a-brac may break her business, Alex sits the couple down to see if she can shock them into seeing things her way. I wouldn't willingly choose to stay somewhere like this. It seems really like, yeah. this is what I want you to have. Yeah, I like this, so you yeah. must like this too. I hope she never comes here. It's almost staying at Grandma's house. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. I wish my Grandma's house had had a four-poster bed in it. Stop being defensive and listen. <laughs> Carpet. Go. Carpet, unfortunately, does not go. I mean, that would actually make a huge difference on its own, wouldn't it? I probably yeah. wouldn't like the carpets he got in his house either, so they're not coming to buy the house. The footage has had a big impact on Sue. For the first time, she's seeing what people really think of her guest house. So, Sue, that must have been quite hard to watch. How do you feel? It's awful. I mean, it makes you feel like you'd like to say to those people, well, I'll come into your house and see if I like your carpets because you feel they're like they're having a personal attack on you. You want to go and do it to them as well. Well, you would have the right to do that if they ran B&Bs. <laughs> I think it seems very strange because we've never had people that come in and say the room's cluttered. Listen, I want you to take everything that I'm saying in the spirit of constructive criticism. I am not here to attack you about your personal taste. What I am suggesting is more people would come to stay here if you broadened the appeal. I mean, some people share your taste, apart from anything else. What you're trying to do is open yourself up to the 90% of people who don't in the world. I feel very strongly that you do have some lovely bits. They die in the morass of stuff that you've got there. With the shock tactics doing their job, Alex has a suggestion for replacing the dining room's claustrophobic decor. By using a theme that's close to Sue's heart, will Alex be given free reign for the redesign? I would love you to make that the Balinese room. Oh, well, that's all it can be. Yeah. You know, you've got yeah. all through the house, along the but... corridor and everything, you've yeah. got lots of prints. So we take everything from the other bits of the house that's anything to do with Bali, and we put it in there. Despite agreeing with Alex's plan, it's clear that the guests' comments have given Sue's pride a knock. This business is advertised as a family-run guest house. I can see Alex wanted to get some people in to see their general opinion, but these people um, obviously don't appreciate quality. And not one to take criticism lying down, Sue calls in local businessman Chris Kirkham, one of her best customers. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to see it's me. It's OK, no problem at all. So, I have no problem at all with some 
of the things Sue has here. Mm -hmm. I have a huge problem with the fact that there seems to be no theme and there seems to be a hundred different ideas all jostling for your attention. My point of view is that probably quite a lot of people actually quite like coming into a guest house or a bed and breakfast because it picks up on the personality of the owner. Now, when you come here, you are getting Sue in Panavision. Glorious technical. Absolutely, yes, you know, with surround surround <laughs> the whole works. Yeah. Obviously, you're a fan of Sue, and you tell me that you place people here and they're very happy. You're yeah. a fan of her business. Yeah. What do you think of this room? Oh, um... Right, I'm not going to disagree with you, but I've got to phrase this very carefully so I don't upset Sue either. Um... I, I, I agree with you that this room does need decluttering <laughs> and I will probably pay <laughs> dearly for that remark. <laughs> Why, thank you, sir. <laughs> so it seems that even Sue's biggest ally has sided with the hotel inspector. As her visit draws to a close, Annex reiterates what needs to be improved to give Garden Lodge a fighting chance. I've now, I think, been very fair. We brought in what we've called our focus group and I've even talked to one of your friends who places people here. So I think the same things do keep coming up. It's too cluttered, it's too personal. The business personal separation isn't good enough. Those are the things that people keep saying. Alex can't ignore that some guests have said part of the problem over the over-personalised guest house is the personality of the owner. She confronts the couple with some of their TripAdvisor reviews. We phoned the guest house directly to book a room and were greeted by one of the rudest women ever. I think I assume that's you. Um, <laughs> the room was advertised as a full poster but was cramped and cluttered. Another one. The customer service was very poor. It wasn't possible to use a pool or to get dinner. This is because they were wedding guests and wanted to come in very early in the morning. So early they should have actually booked the night before. And I think people that are very happy with places, and I've spoken to people about this, um, don't even bother to review it on the internet. I agree, but that means that there are some unhappy customers. Mm -hmm. I've got a hotel myself, mm -hmm. so I'm telling you that I know very well that you can't please all the people all the time. But you please most of the people most of the time. That is the plan. So, here, I'd like you to agree or disagree the principle about depersonalising. Well, no, you're not going to touch my lounge. <laughs> <laughs> you're feeling much better. I'm feeling much better about it. OK, so you need to take everything down. Keep aside in one area of the house all the things that you would like to put back in here. When I come back, we will look at every single piece and decide where to hang it so that it shows to its best advantage. I think you'll love it. And more importantly, I think your guests will love it. Mm. Are you with me? Of course. Yes. <laughs> it's good to hear. <laughs> After weeks of battle, Alex has finally persuaded Sue and Ron to get behind her plans for transforming Garden Lodge. Is it now on the path for a rosy future? I can't tell you how relieved I am. I never thought for a moment that Sue would give in. But I tell you what, I still think Sue's going to find it so hard to declutter that dining room. I'm just going to have to wait and see whether I've really won this war. I'm looking forward now till the next visit when they come and do the makeovers because I want to see what it looks like and um, obviously I want more customers to come so, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if what she's doing is really going to work for us. A few days later and work is well underway on the renovations at Garden Lodge. But, as Alex expected, removing the results of two decades of hoarding has been a painful process for Sue. I've done what Alex has asked me to do and stripped the room. Well, it's nearly stripped now. When I took all my pictures down, I must admit, I did have a, quite a good cry. Alex has still got to prove to me that this is actually going to make my business busier. I'm not convinced yet. I don't really want to come in here again now until it's all finished. It's it's depressing seeing it like this and I just want them to get on with it now and get it finished and I'll go and do whatever I've got to do and let them get on with it really. But for Sue, leaving the decorations alone might be easier said than done. Here! 
He's brought blown vinyl. I told him in the first place we can't have blown vinyl because. Yeah, but that's not blown vinyl. Because people do this and they pick it off. Because we, yeah, we've had it in the hall and we had to paper all the hall again because people go like this and they stand and pick it off, not having blown vinyl. I've gone along with Alex on magnolia. I've gone along with stripping my walls, but I'm having the paper I want painted on my walls. We, we weren't told so, obviously we can't, we, if we don't tell us, we can't put it up. You should be mind reader. Women have yeah, to we. be. <laughs> Sue, she certainly knows now what she wants. Um, I've got something quite similar, but unfortunately, it uh, wasn't quite what she wanted. It takes a woman to sort these things out all the time. My husband is going to come down now, so if you can find something you've got ten rolls of, yeah? Right, let's get on. I'm not having blown vinyl. The disagreement over the wallpaper may have blown over, but there's another unwelcome surprise waiting for Sue outside. Keen to encourage a thorough clear-out of the dining room, Alex has arranged for a special delivery. Oh, my God, what does she expect me to do with this? I know I'd like to put in this at the moment. Good afternoon, sir. This is a present from Alex. Dear Sue, thought this might be useful to you. Can't wait to see what's in it on my next visit. Lots of love, Alex. Well, it won't be here when she comes next time because there isn't room for it on my car park for all my customers' vehicles that go there. So you better load it back up because I've got nothing to go in it. You think you've got problems? <laughs> Just swap places. Unimpressed, Sue has her own suggestion as to what to do with the skip. Well, Alex might have some cheap crap at her hotel she'd like to put in here. I suggest you go down to Devon, actually, because I haven't got any cheap crap to go in it. I'm extremely pleased this is Alex's last visit because I just want to get back to running my business now without all this going on all the time. But I will be glad to get my dining room back to not looking like an empty cavern that echoes when you go in it because it's so empty. If Alex doesn't allow me to keep the character and the personality in the room, I should make sure it's put into that room when she's gone. After months of convincing and cajoling, the hotel inspector is back for her last visit to Garden Lodge. Alex is hoping that she and Sue will now join forces to finish the redecoration of the dining room. I would like Sue to look at her dining room and be happy with it. I would like her to accept that I've done all this in her best interest. And most importantly, the proof will be in the pudding. Can Sue become more successful? That we'll only find out with time. But for now, the time has come for Alex to see just how much decluttering Sue has managed to do in the dining room. The plan is to make it a Bali-themed lounge diner for guests using some of the Balinese mementos currently spread throughout the guest house. Gosh, looks very different, doesn't it? What do you think? But has Alex's decluttering drawn fresh battle lines? I mean, yes, how can you accuse me of that? Or will That's guests put a spanner in the works? Do you prefer it more now? That's difficult. Garden Lodge in Folkestone is an Aladdin's cave for all the wrong reasons. The house is swamped in collections and the dated, cluttered interiors have lost their appeal to modern visitors. Alex has convinced the couple to strip back the dining room. She plans to reintroduce a fraction of Sue's collectibles for a fresh look. Gosh, looks very different, doesn't it? It's Does. lighter. What do you think? It's not better and it's not worse, it's different. Different is one way of putting it, and Sue once again has her reasons for not decluttering as much as she could. It felt like you were just trying to take us completely out of this room, make it completely impersonal. Despite me saying what I'm saying about making it the Balinese room, I mean, yes, how can you accuse me of that? Because I thought you wanted all my photos out as well, which is completely taking us out of the room. Well, why don't we bring them back now? There's no point in you waiting until I'm gone, darling, OK? Right. I'm very happy to put them back here and now, right. and we do it all together. Maybe on this wall. With the truce called, it's time to adorn the Magnolia walls with a few select family photos and pieces of art. 
Look better on a clean background, don't they? What? I think we've got to no. see what space we've got on that wall. OK, fine. Fine by me. Facing an obstinate Sue, Alex decides to compromise in this war of the wall space. Quite close to that looks nice, doesn't it? Is that the right way round? Can we look okay. at it the other way round? It's been a battle of wills at every stage of the process. And Sue is still at risk of letting her collections cost her her business. But with the restrained decoration complete, will she finally change her mind? Sue. Yeah? Do you like this? Um, um, yes, I like it. <laughs> Does it feel more like your home again? Oh, no, I've got my photos back, yeah. I think, for me, it means that people are going to come in and there's this connection with Borley, which is something nice. With the guest public area brought into the 21st century, Alex wants to show Sue that her effort in decluttering will pay off. Will one last challenge be the push Sue needs to realise it's all been worthwhile? My plan tomorrow, if you are willing to lay on a traditional Kentish cream tea, is to get lots of people down here, people who may use this not only as overnight guests, but also this room and the future conservatory. See what they think, see if they approve of the new, I think, improved look. <laughs> we'll see, won't we? We will. I'd better hurry up and go and get some cakes and scones made then. I <laughs> have great faith in you, Sue. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and keen to impress, Sue furiously prepares for the party. But will the new dining room impress the guests and VIPs? What I'm hoping is that people will come in and there'll be good energy to see the changes that are here and hopefully the change in Sue too. The guest list of local business and tourism leaders also includes local MP and former Conservative Party leader Michael Howard. Hello. Hello. This is the hotel inspector. <laughs> yes. Right. And the conversation quickly turns to how the hotel inspector coped with her most formidable opponent yet. I can imagine it was a huge battle of wills, and I'm extremely glad I wasn't there. I wouldn't have liked to be in the middle of it. But has the transformed dining room made an impact on the guests? I think the dining room is much better. It's uh, lighter, area, much less clutter. And even Chris Kirkham is back to cast his opinion. All right, darling, this is a tough one. Sure. Do you prefer it more now, or did you prefer it more as it was before? That's difficult. That is difficult. No, I'm, this is a fantastic compromise. It's still Sue's dining room, but you've done what you said you wanted to do, which was declutter. So you approve? I do. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems the hotel inspector's handiwork has been met with positive reviews. The guests leave Garden Lodge, and all that's left for Alex to do is have one last chat with Sue and Ron. The response today has been very, very good. Mm. Mm. I mean, I thought you were in your element with all these people. It's nice to know, really, that, you know, you've got the support when you need it. You seem much happier than you were when we first arrived. Well, I think when you first arrived, we were dreading what you were going to do, but now you're going, we know what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just relief, it's isn't it? easy way round, isn't it? Yeah. We've got to see what extra business we're going to get in. You know, that is going to be the proof of it at the end of the day. I'm hoping that this will reverse the trend. Mm. And although you think that I have wanted to make you like other anodyne hotels, that was certainly never my intention. I think it's essential that places like this exist. And if we can create the sort of feeling that we did today, then I think this business can go forward quite considerably. And I won't put loads of stuff back in because you let me put my photos in. Uh, yeah, woohoo! No, I no. think, you know, darling, this is my idea of heaven. <laughs> when I first came to Garden Lodge, it was filled with dolls, fairies, chintzy plates and innumerable other ephemera, all of which left me feeling that there wasn't even room enough for guests to breathe. 
is still not to my personal taste, but I believe that by compromising with Sue, I've made her happy and I've also managed to broaden its appeal. The rest is up to Ron and Sue. And right now over on Fiverr, you can see more behind-the-scenes action from the Garden Lodge when you can find out for yourself if Alex managed to convince Sue that decluttering is the way forward. Next here on Five, it's Grey's Anatomy.